Session 1, Scientific Method and Biology, Part 1 of Session 1. What is the scientific method? The scientific method is a step-by-step -step process or procedure for experimentation that is used by the researcher to explore observations and answer questions. But do we have to follow exactly this process? Actually, not. Some areas of science can be more easily tested than others. For example, scientists studying how our sun changes as they age cannot pass forward a sun's life by a million years to test their hypothesis. When direct experimentation is not possible, scientists can modify the scientific method. In fact, there are many versions of the scientific method, but even modified, the goal remains the same. To learn cause and effect relationship by asking questions, carefully gathering and examining the evidences, and seeing if all the available information can be combined into a logical answer. Even though the scientific method is a series of steps, we must keep in mind that new information or thinking might cause a, sci a scientist to back up and repeat steps at any point during the process. A process like the scientific method that involves such backing up and repeating is called an iterative process. Whether you are doing a sci scientific investigation, classroom science experiment, group or individual research, Understanding the steps of the scientific method will guide and help you focus your scientific problem and work through your observations, experimentations, and collection of data to answer your research problem. Now let's talk about the steps of the scientific method. 1. Ask a question or find your research problem. The scientific method starts when you ask a question. Some books refer to this as your problem, but something that you observe. How, what, when, who, which, why, or where. It is important that your, that your questions must be something that you can measure, preferably with a number. Number two, do background research. Rather than starting from scratch in putting together a plan for answering your question, you may want to explore your resources, like using school library, conducting interviews, reading some research journals or manuscript, and internet research will help you find the best way to do things and ensure that you don't repeat mistakes from the past research. It is simply to put that, read a lot and explore your resources. Number Construct a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how things work. It is an attempt to answer your question with an explanation that can be tested. A good hypothesis allows you to then make a prediction. Like, if blank, I do this, blank. Then, blank, this, blank will happen. State both your hypothesis and the resulting prediction you will be testing. Predictions must be easy to measure. Number four. Test your hypothesis by doing an experiment. Your experiment tests whether your prediction is accurate and thus your hypothesis is supported or not. It is important to be honest in conducting your experiment. You can ensure a fair and honest experimentation by making sure that, you're, that you change only one variable at a time while keeping all other conditions the same. You should also repeat your experiments several times to make sure that the first result weren't just an accident. It will be more easy to set up a tree replicates of your subject to minimize 
that need to repeat the whole process of experimentation. Number five, analyze your data and draw a conclusion. Once your experiment is complete, you have to collect your data and analyze them to see if they support your hypothesis or not. Scientists often find that their predictions were not accurate and their hypothesis was not supported. And in such cases, they will communicate the results of their experiment and then go back and construct a new hypothesis and prediction based on the information they learned during their previous experiments. This will start again the whole process of the scientific method until such that they will establish their findings. But even if they find that their hypothesis was supported, they may want to conduct again a new experiment to test it again in a new way. Number six, communicate your results. To complete your science research or science investigatory project, you will communicate your results to others in, in a final report. Like any scientist do, almost exactly the same thing by presenting the results in scientific conferences and scientific journals. Remember that your science teacher is interested in your findings regardless of whether or not they support your original hypothesis. Let's test your understanding. Read on Fleming's work on penicillin and answer the following questions. Number one, what is the problem that Fleming investigated? Number two, what was Fleming's hypothesis? Number three, how was the hypothesis tested? Number four, write a statement that summarizes the result of the experiment. And number five, this experiment lead to development of what major medical advances?